What's up, y'all? It's Ann Glitz and it's Bible Sun TV. And today we got Javante Davis turned Muslim. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We're on our way to 100K subscribers, Bible Sun TV. Shout out to the Muslim Nation. Shout out to my subscribers. I appreciate my subscribers. I thank y'all every day. I swear I love y'all. Like, y'all think I don't. It, hey, bro, I got to do something for y'all. I told you I'm giving out $10,000 when I get to 100K subscribers. But let's get into it. So as y'all know, Javante Davis is from Baltimore, Tank the boxer. Tank told me he's going to turn me into cast, but I don't know what that means to this day. I still don't know what that means, but I don't want to be turned into cast, but this is my favorite boxer. I don't, first of all, we got into it because Tyler Bain had my chain. He was in the comments trolling me like, bruh, I don't want no trouble, bruh. If you want to do something, punch me while we out and about, bruh, my mother do need a balcony a porch we need to buy me a back porch my little sister's gonna have ponies at her daughter birthday party we have it all all up at javante how you been how your family get wealthy javante davis punched me in live because you know and i just stood his ass for 1.9 million but let's get into it so javante davis been spending that cash i seen him just buy the block he bought two houses in baltimore and the next day, they mysteriously caught on fire let's not get into that we're not gonna get into no speculations or no Conspiracy theories, we're gonna just leave that one alone. So after that happened, I see Javon T. Davis converted to Muslim. Like his he bought some properties. This all happened in three days. He bought some properties. No, all right. It went like this. Devin Haney's father said he offered Javon T. Davis $20 million. He turned down. Who turned down $20 million? Javante Davis replied, 20 million, I get a hundred million dollars or better. And I was thinking like, hey, Javante Davis make a hundred million off them boxing fights. I see why he only do one of them jumps a year. That's a hundred million dollars a year. That's all he need. Oh my God, boxing money different. But I don't want to be a boxer though, y'all. I don't even want that money. If I had a hundred, if I had a hundred million dollars and I died, I died, I'd give him a hundred million dollars. I had to go spend it. And I would talk to people and I had to be like, I want to give a shout out to Floyd Mayweather Productions. And I would like to say, Aka De La Hoya. And I'd be like, what a nigga cannot talk like a whole. If Javante Davis read a book, it'll sound like this. Or if he said the play of the leaders of the flame. I played the word with two of the flame. From the United States of America. And two of the Republic of the States. Or two. And two of the Republic of the United States of America. Which is that? What is that? I like to say, Floyd Mayweather and. Oscar De La Hoya. I say, man, this man don't talk. Whatever Javante do, it don't talk, man. The punches, man. Them jokes be so hard that they lose their voice. I say, man, who is you? It was this big strong guy. He said, I'm really both. I'm really both. I say, man, they little voice box me. God, Mike Tyson doing good though. He hold. I ain't gonna play with Mike though. Mike's still like Mike the type of invite me on his podcast and beat me up. I love Mike Tyson. I'm a Mike Tyson fan. First of all, everything Mike Tyson ever did wrong in life is stuff I would have did. Like, he a real nigga. Like, Mike Tyson might be the realest boxer in the world. Like, the realest fucking boxer. Mike Tyson's one of the realest in the world. That's my, that's one of my idols. I will never disrespect I Mike Tyson on this channel. Bob Sun TV will never disrespect Mike. I'm like, I like Mike Tyson more than Michael Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? I'm that big of a Mike Tyson fan. I got my attitude from Mike Tyson. That's where I got it from. I ain't get the punches to go with the attitude. I just got the attitude. So, Javante... After that, I see him buy some houses. Boom, he bought some houses. Then the next day after the houses he bought, they burnt down. The next day, the top of the morning, boom, burnt down. The news clip burnt down. Then the day after that, he turned Muslim. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Javante just did three things in one job. He turned down $20 million, bought two houses, and went Muslim in the same day. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on? Like, I don't know what's going on over there. It's, it's confusing me. There's nothing about going Muslim that's wrong. First of all, let me break this Muslim down for you. I feel like not all American Muslims, this ain't got nothing to do with American Muslims. I'm talking about like the, say like the guys from the ghetto streets of the DMV, Baltimore, Washington, Virginia. I'm just talking about Baltimore, DC, and Virginia, and like just say the, I don't feel like they're considered real Muslims, like the, the Muslims that's from, where the Muslims from, I think Mecca or wherever the Muslims from, like wherever the Muslims come from, because I don't know exactly, I'm not into, into uh, the Quran that hard to understand, but wherever the Muslims come from, like the real place, the Muslims, them are real Muslims. This is some 
It's like Bloods and Crips. That's how I look at it. Just like uh, only in the DMV though. Like the DMV Muslims, not the not the older ones, not 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 the ones that's not in the streets. I'm talking about the street guys, the ones like me. I'm talking about the ones that like me that come from the ghetto, mother on food stamps, and the ones that don't know where Muslim came from. Like you had to see that somebody talk you into it. Like nobody in your family was ever Muslim. This is something you was something you picked up you feel me or somebody in jail did it it's not it don't really come from the motherland like it's nobody that's connected to the motherland that's muslim like your family came from where the muslims come from and you feel me it was like your family came from a jail or your man told you you got your shahada over there or your other man took you somewhere to get your shahada it's like a lot of crazy things going on and i'm saying this because a real muslim it's no domestic violence. A real Muslim ain't getting drunk every day. A real Muslim is not living like the way y'all living. A real Muslim ain't going to buy no jury or none of that. Now, let me tell you, the real Muslim that's from that other, that where the Muslims come from, from the, the world of Muslims come from, the real 100% Muslim, them guys, are, they damn near angels. They, they damn near perfect. And let's talk about the real Muslims that I ran into. Like, I'm talking about like, the brothers that's older, now they out the streets, now they older and they studying the dean real, real hard. Like, if you run into a real Muslim, you should never feel uncomfortable. One thing I can tell you about it, a Muslim ain't never gonna hurt you. A Muslim that's on his dean, I will trust him more than a regular person. I will trust him more than a Christian. I am Christian, but I will trust the Muslim on his dean more than a Christian, because Christians get a little crazy too. Like, my mother a Christian, I'm a Christian. We could, like, you feel what I'm saying? I know what goes on, but a Muslim that's on his dean, one of the ones, don't you know how people, the Muslims being Ramadan, it's Muslims that be Ramadan every day. Like, they don't curse, they ain't into that, they don't live by, they live by that Quran. Like, they, they not gonna give you nothing but knowledge. Every Muslim that I sat down that was a real, like, into they deen, they always gave me knowledge. Even if you're a non-believer or a believer, they always give you knowledge. Like, I swear, I, I commend the real Muslims, the ones who... Who bump in their head every day. I'm talking about in jail, out of jail, wake up, eat, sleep, breathe, pray. They Quran, they don't curse, they don't get loud, they don't nothing. They 100 percent Muhammad. Like you feel what I'm saying? Like they that guy, whatever type of Muslim they is, they 100 percent that guy. That's 100 percent what they into. They then not the guys that take three weeks off, only do it on Ramadan. They might go to the crap game, do this, cursed out his baby mom. Man, no, none of that. That is Kufa-ish. You feel me? I pay attention to a lot. I am not Muslim, but I'm going to tell you a story. I was locked up as a juvenile. I was in juvenile jail. It was Ramadan. Ramadan, they bring trays. They bring trays morning, noon, and afternoon. But in Ramadan, the Muslims can only eat after, after the sun go down. So they only can eat the night trays. So that means the Christians, the Christians will get to eat breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But the Muslims only eat night trays, but the breakfast still coming. The lunch still coming. So who eating the extra trays? The Christians. It's 12 people in the unit, 11 Muslims, one Christian. Guess who was Christian? Me. I had all the trays during Ramadan. I love the Muslim. I'm getting big. I'm getting fat. They fast and they, they believing in what they believing in and they getting better with God and I'm just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm feeling good and we all feeling good. You feel me? I'm loving it here. And they treat you good. They all treat me good. All my friends was Muslim, but even the real Muslim brothers that I met that took that Muslim so seriously, they never told me nothing wrong. I just was, I had to, first of all, I had to be around it. If it's 11 Muslims and there's only one Christian, you gonna see Muslim things all day. I'm gonna give you a scenario. Four o'clock in the morning, this before I ever knew anything about a Muslim, anything. Four o'clock in the morning in Ramadan, it's the first day of Ramadan. My first day ever knowing what a Ramadan was, ever seeing them do it. I hear the sinks come on at four o'clock in the morning. I'm talking about every sink on the unit. That's weird. They running the sink, but they about to flood the unit. They ain't tell me, and I'm the talk of the town of the unit. This guy like my young, you feel me? Like, they ain't tell me, like, what's going on? Shh, I'm thinking everybody sinks, bro. Then I hear this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Shut Allah, Rasul Allah, you live, so live, you live, so live. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Send me Allah, hold it, hit me there, hold it, you live, so live. Bishmillah, Rahman, Wahim. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Walk my to Allah by the car too.
then everybody stand up and be like this. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alamin, Rahman, Rahim, Inik Yom, Dini, Rakna, Buri, Yostana, Tuhim, Kharel, Madubi, Alam, Stuhim, Sihim, something, something, while I do lean. But that's how they used to be. I really learned it, though. Like, that's how I used to be. But after I learned it, it been like 28 days in now. Now I'm real live. That's how day one started off. I'm like, get Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rebel Adamin, Rahman, Rahim, Maliki Yamadin, Yakana Buri, why Yakana say he eating this Sorota, Mustaki Sorota, didn't have him glow to move to lay him, Grail, and Dubia lay him while a door lean. I really learned it in 30 days. Allah, who walk by, send me Allah, holy man, hand me that. Salam alaikum, Ma. I'm just here to tell you, Javante, I just feel like people join the Muslims because it's a cult. It's like a brother culture. It's like it expand your horizon. It's like you need some type of power behind you once you get a certain level in life. Like the Bloods, the Crips, it's something like you can't be in it by yourself to go to war with people. But I'm in it by myself. I believe in God. I don't care what God you believe in as long as you believe in something. Father, son.